thing is crazy, Brian. Is it? Why? Tell me why. Tell why me why. Do you, why do you want somebody to bow so badly? What do you mean? Because I know it's going to come back to the topic of submission. Wait, speak straight into the mic, but go ahead. I know it's going to come back to the topic of submission. Mm -hmm. Sure. And that is submission comes straight from the Bible. The well, Bible... I, I wouldn't look at this from a religious perspective. I would look at this from a uh, secular perspective. But then that's where do the you problem. get submission from? Yeah, that's... It's in, it's in nature. You can... Submission, I mean... Submission is in nature. You, yeah. Where? You, where in, in nature? In, in mammalian species. You don't think that there's submissive atheist women? I'm sure there is, but I think it is in more times than not very harmful because it's coming from a very, very selfish, prideful, and just like across the board, Wait, what, board harmful. Like On the woman's part or the man's part? On the man's part. To desire a submissive woman? To a, a woman bowing for you is harmful submission. Submission it, should Articulate be, how it's harmful. It's prideful on the man's part. How is it prideful? It's selfish. How is it selfish? Why do you want her to bow for you? Expl first explain to me, answer my question first. How is it harmful or what was the other word you used? Harmful or did you? What, not prideful. Selfish. Pride prideful. Selfish. How is it yeah. selfish on the man's part? How is it harmful to the woman? Because are you thinking about her experience or are you thinking about your experience? I, I, don't under, I don't really understand your argument, but how is it harmful? Because that's not going to be, it's not loving. How is it not loving? Because you're considering only your experience and it's feeding your ego. Having somebody doesn't bow feed my ego for at you, all. Can I ask something? It for no, 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 no. Sure Hold on. Would. It for sure would, Brian. Having somebody bow for you would not feed your ego and make you feel more powerful. It wouldn't make me feel more powerful. Just make you feel respected. But how is it? Okay, Appreciate so it. let's remove the my my side from this. How is it harmful to the woman? Articulate that. Because it's this. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Make your argument, please. Let me think. It's like a weird power dynamic that is. I'm all for. Let me ask you a question. Dynamic. Do you want a guy to open the car door for you? On a date. Yeah. Wow, that's, that's really loving. harmful to the man. That's a weird power, power dynamic that you want, that you insist a man open a car door for you when you have agency and you're, you have the strength to open a car door. Articulate to me why you want a man to open the car door for you. Because it goes back further than just like... Cars are, are a recent invention of modernity. They've been around for like 100 years. Goes back to when? The caveman days? Well, obviously not. Okay, but. so there's no evolutionary basis for a woman desiring a man to open a car door. So explain to me I'm why sure women want... i did originate for, like, safety reasons. Safety protecting, reasons. Protecting the woman. No, I actually do. She's going to blow out her shoulder opening a car door? Don't think so. <laughs> Don't think so. Do you know the history of chivalry? Uh, some. Some? To basically woo a woman that you couldn't get that wasn't attracted to you, so you basically tried to make her attracted to you by being subservient. I think that's being very secular. Bitch. Very secular. No, that's a, that's the no, that's the actual history I don't. from France, the chivalrous knights. Yeah, but like if we went back biblically, people would love on others to show other people that they can experience God's love. Yeah, but biblically. It's not, that's not, we're talking about where we actually know it originated historically, like where you can date it back to. It was the chivalrous knights of France. And that's where being, that's where we, that's, that's where, that's where the, con that's where, no, the concept of chivalry, like wooing a woman, like trying to impress a woman, doing those okay. kind of things. It dates back to, I believe, 15th century France. Fifth, uh, might be a little earlier than that. Somewhere in between the 12th and the 16th century, France, chivalrous knights. Okay, but I don't think women ever, like, demanded a man open a car door for them. No, that's just a form of chivalry, and it all ties back into just trying to impress a woman. You're trying to be impressive to the woman. Yeah. You're trying to dem basically pedestalize her. Okay. Yeah. So that's what opening a car door would be in a sense. It's like, your majesty, my queen. Wait, so again, though, how okay. is it harmful to the woman for her to do a bow? Because it 
you're only thinking about yourself. That's well, what not about, the ground. What? I'm not saying it's going to like a, cause physical harm to her, but in the relationship, that's not uh, that's not I'm going to be very healthy. Nick, it's, I can't see her, so you have to <laughs> be looking out for this. Go ahead. Sorry, I keep looking at you. That's it's fine. why. But um. It's not going to cause a healthy relationship when you're only thinking about your experience and how you can be served instead of trying to consider her experience. And okay, I have a couple questions and for When you. both people do that, probably, do you know what? She might end up bowing for you. But when you're like, okay, I need to be bowed for and like, I'm only, I'm not going to think about how I can, you know, bring love into this person's life. I'm just going to think about how she can make me feel better and better. That's not going to be grounds for a healthy relationship. So you think that if a woman were to bow in a relationship, it would just be absolutely catastrophic and it would just lead to the demise of the relationship just on virtue of, the, of her bowing and the man wanting her to bow? I don't think it would be catastrophic, but I do think that having that is like an ideal for looking for relationships is like honestly so un <laughs> like it's not it's, good. I don't think it's healthy. Like honestly, I think it's just very. You don't think it's healthy? No, I don't think it's very healthy ask you, okay, in a so relationship both of you for a woman to bow to a guy that's doing too much. It's unhealthy. <laughs> okay, so what labor? Like, is it is it physically laborious? Is it grueling to do? I a bow? just feel like. Um, it it's is. a slippery slope like How's you might you slope? might ask her to bow for you but then like what's next what else are you going to be asking her to do that kind of just like lowers her ranking in the doesn't, relationship it doesn't lower it her ranking it's a bit degrading no it actually elevates her no what do you got amy if she's no. bowing to you would you bow back to nope. her but that's what my original question was going to be. Like, is this actually a fetish kink, or is this about sub like submissive <laughs> nature? It's funny how upset they get about the bow thing. I so here's what's interesting. I think you well, might. first I off, got upset let, about really it. quick, it's just, uh, just really quick question for you. Do you object? Uh, obviously, you recognize there are cultures where where bowing is more uh, typical. Do you object to the bow in those cultures? What cultures? Uh, like for Asian cultures, for example, like Japan. I don't know if they bow they to bow. their husbands. I don't it's, know the specifics it's women of it, but bowing. bowing is more common. Well, no, because I, th I think that's totally different context. They're not... Okay, sure. So we'll remove that from the yeah. equation if you don't object to it in that context. Uh, is this, it's cultural appropriation, though. Bow is a sign to respect our elders. We don't bow to our, like, spouses. No, like... I don't get it, like... My nephews and nieces bow to me. You're Vietnamese though, right? I'm Chinese Vietnamese, yeah. Okay. Well, I don't know the specifics of the various, uh, you know, the, the cultures, the cultural specifics of each individual country. I know there are vast differences between Vietnam, uh, Korea, Japan, China, um, Thailand, Mongolia, Laos, Indonesia. I don't know. There's, pl there's plenty of Asian countries. They all have different cultures. Um, so... Yeah. If you take it but from that, I'm not that, making an like, argument of like, I'm doing this because I, of Asian cultures. No, this is just like some white boy shit. But you won't answer why. Yeah, why why do you that. want her to bow? Because I want it. Do I need any but other why? reasons? Yes. Well, one. Okay, one <laughs> because it's submissive. One it because it's submissive. It's sort of a a determination of her willingness to be submissive. But. What and be playful and be playful it's not like some dark twisted it's, demented it's. thing for me how is it how is it dark well, articulate how, is, like you can't just throw it out and not have a reason for it how is it dark can i can i chime in let um, me no 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 i just Actually, don't, I just don't know ahead. how you no, 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 can just on, stand there and watch somebody bow to you and not feel like god stop that just stand that's up that's because <laughs> hold on stop the, that but you're viewing it through the female lens you desire you want to know something funny what you have after a that night <laughs> after that night that well the first night that i did the podcast and you showed the bowing video i told my husband about it yeah. and then we were acting it out together and i bowed to him and he felt so weird and he was like don't ever do that again and i okay, was like cool <laughs> i was like how does it make you feel when i bow to you he goes 
he was like, I can't even describe it. It's like, I just don't want you to do it. Uh, I feel weird about myself if yeah. you bow and did, to me. Before you did the bow, did you have a five minute conversation about how you feel, like you told him that you think it's weird? No. And that, no, be, you just literally no, I was like, oh, that you like, guys were talking the host about wants... it and you set up this totally inorganic bowing thing. One, he doesn't desire the bow. Two, you have opposition to the bow. So of course it was gonna come off weird in that scenario. I've had women who've come on the show who said, hey, Brian, I just hit the bow to my man just because I've seen it. And the husband liked it. That is not something that I've women are woman, naturally going to want to do so for you. So you can give your circumstantial thing. I can just give you an opposite scenario where we had a woman who was on who said she hit the bow and the husband loved it. Cool. You probably freaked your husband out because he know you're not even like that. He probably was like, what the fuck? But hold on. I am very submissive, though. I'm Go very ahead. submissive, but that was so, just yeah. taking it a step. I, I actually, like, kind of give the bow as much seriousness as, like, you're, you're wanting back scratches. It's like, I don't see the need to give the bow. I'll bow. Sure. My husband actually asked, like, when he comes home from work that I meet him at the door and give him a kiss hello. Like, that's not very far that's away. Mm -hmm. oh, sorry. But, yeah, that's not very far away from, like, the bow, but it's not like giving it so much power to compromise myself. My husband just said he wanted this because it, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> and he uh, wants to feel loved by me, so I don't see. A couple questions here. So just going back to you, um, you want to get married? Yeah. One day? Uh, I assume, I mean, women have different views on this, but do you want are you fine with your husband paying for like a hundred dollar ring? Are you fine with that? Or would you want him to spend a bit more? No, I would be fine with that. You'd be fine with that? Yeah. Going around the table? You're married. How much did your husband spend on the ring? Uh, never told me. Never told <laughs> never you? Never asked. Okay. What about you? I don't think, I don't think it matters. Don't care? Okay. Uh, absolutely not. Don't care? No. I care. Okay. How much should a man... I've heard something like three months salary. That's oh, what I've heard. Gosh. Sure. So you'd want... <laughs> A man to pay. Okay, three months salary. What about you? How much did your husband pay Depends for his on wedding his ring? Salary. Um, Wait, can I have an example of what three months salary asked. is? Because I don't know USD conversion. Like, I mean, people make that? different salaries. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, so like that's what I'm saying. Like, what if it's a McDonald's worker with a three month salary versus someone like you sure. said, like a lawyer? Yeah. Sure. Okay, I want a six carat ring minimum. Oh my god. So what? <laughs> what is? Sure. How much does that cost? I don't know. Could be anywhere from like 60 to 80K, depending on the diamond vendor. Could be anywhere from like 60 to 80K, depending on the diamond vendor, if you're getting one that was lab created or if you're getting one that was sourced from Africa. Wow. I don't think I ever asked. Wait, I have to. Show us the I, ring. Can I ask you something? Show us the ring. I don't know jack shit about rings. I don't know if it <laughs> looks like a pricey one. Uh, what about you? Do you What's want. Pricey. I mean, I don't think it really matters, but I also don't think you should be getting married if you're not at a point in your life where you can financially, like... Well, that's a different thing. But, but. it has to do with the cost and how much you're spending. Like, if you're able to pay for it... Yeah, three months' salary. I think that's what's... They, the, I don't agree with it, but what about you? <clears throat> well, it at least has to be the ring I want. It has to be the ring you want? Yeah. Like Is your ring that you want going to be worth $100? Probably not. Oh, okay. I picked out my ring. I know, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't really mind. Okay. So, going around once more on this. I mean, do uh, just show of hands. Who here wants to be married? Get married? Everybody? Okay. Already. Uh, now, do you want the guy, uh, just show of hands, do you want the guy to propose to you? Is that everybody? Mm -hmm. Hands oh, high, yeah, please. Sorry. Yeah, uh, so starting with you, do you want your husband to do the get down on one knee thing to propose to you? Yeah. Okay, what about you? Or did your I, husband do that? Yeah, he did. What about you? Yes. Yes, he did. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So hold on here just a second. <laughs> I would argue that kneeling is a bitchier move than bowing. In addition to that, you also want your husband to spend money on a <laughs> ring. Now, some of you seemed a bit modest in terms of what, how much you want him to spend, but you want him to get down on one knee and essentially beg, quivering, begging for your hand, <laughs> like a quivering, begging dog. 
<laughs> why is it okay for women to say, I want a man to get down on one knee? And I, I would argue kneeling is more pathetic. Pathetic. I don't view bowing as pathetic, but whatever. If, if your thing is, oh, it's so pathetic for a woman to bow, why is it not objectionable then for a man to do that? I for think if he wants me to bow to him, he can get down on one knee. Honestly, bowing, you're looking down. Kneeling, you're looking up. And that's a very, to be lower, that's way more submissive. You have to do it one time. Yeah. One time in your life. Sure. That is it. In, in addition to that, if the man's Hopefully the breadwinner, he's Hopefully essentially one getting woman. down on one knee. Right. If the man's the breadwinner, he's also not just getting down on one knee. He's not just saying, I want to be with you forever. He also says, in the event that you ever change your mind, you're going to financially destroy me. That's also what that means. How about that? Sorry. Checkmate. That's I totally zoned out. I didn't even hear <laughs> um, Can I just say something? Go ahead. I think it's based off like what everyone wants. Like I know like you're for no bowing, but I feel like in the video it's showing that the man is coming home from like a hard days of work and she's been at home preparing for him. And basically like I feel like the bow is showing like a sign of thank you because he's basically the one I'm assuming paying for the house, paying for the food that she used to cook for him. I feel like... A bowing is a very, not everyone has to do it, of course. Like, I mean, it's based on communication with you and your partner. Like, um, Brian, I don't think you should assume that your first date someone would bow to you unless you openly say, please bow to me. I mean, like, I don't know if they'll swipe or whatever that works, but um, I feel like it's based off like the relationship you have with your partner. If that person is working hard day in, day out, not saying that you're not at home, but that's like a, a, small, a small factor that can like, help them maybe wanting to come home maybe it'll give them a feeling that like they feel a sense of like reward that they have basically they took care of you in aspect like it's like a like they said dominant like the dominant versus submissive type of stuff i feel like if you have really 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 earned that bow then sure yeah i don't even think that oh i don't that need to earn it so on the first funny. date oh yeah to yeah. mcdonald's i don't need to that. Earn. <laughs> it's pursuing that that is <laughs> so <laughs> bizarre pursuing what somebody that's, that's gonna bow that. for you if that mm. came what to be what if i be told you that that for example if a woman's initi initiating with me and she watches the show would you object to uh under those circumstances object to me wanting a bow because i would might... say most uh, every single girl here at the table for a guy you like you'll do way more than a fucking bow <laughs> trust me i would bow trust to my guy if he you'll do that. way that's more facts. than a fucking bow for a guy you really like that's facts but i would expect i ain't dealing yeah. with these these <laughs> chicks on dating apps who are dating five five three guys at the same time they're fucking two other dudes i ain't dealing with those chicks maybe that's how y'all move i don't deal with those kind of girls that's facts but I'm dealing with a girl who's only interested in me. Grid One Motorsports donated $200. B. I used to bow to people all the time, right before they threw me all over the mat and kicked my ass like it was their job. It is a sign of respect, is not earned, it just is. These girls are broke. Yo, Grid One, good to see you in the chat, bro. Uh, wait, what? Right before they threw? I used to bow to, the peop to people all the time? You think he's talking about his karate teacher or something? Oh, oh! You know what's crazy? Grid one, me and him, we we took like an aikido class. This guy's a fucking aikido black belt. He's just, Gosh, he's got that fucking aikido. I thought aikido was a stick. Okay. <laughs> I think it's aikido. What's the thing that? Uh, oh, what's that guy? Who's the <laughs> chap? Who's the guy who does aikido? What's his fucking name? The famous actor guy. What's his name? Who did a keto? Nickelodeon donated Steven $200. Seagal. Thank you. Thank you. Please don't let the artist read more comments. <laughs> the girls can't boat, but men have to open doors, pay for mm. dates, fill the gas for you, take the bullet. Mm. P.S. Rocky well, Peaks well, is the stripper well. in Chartreuse <laughs> Smile. Dude, Nickelodeon, good to see you in the chat, man. Well put. Very much appreciated. Well, you have all these gender expectations of what a man ought to do, but like a bow is pretty benign. Speaking of which, I'll save the bullet conversation for later, but the big argument we had last show is, so you want a man to take a bullet for you, but you, you want a man to literally die for you. 
I know some of you said, oh, if the Grim Reaper I don't comes, want my man to die, period. Right. But if but. Like, in this hypothetical scenario where <laughs> one of you has to take a bullet, I mean, for example, you said you prefer the guy to, you'd want the guy to die for Well, I didn't ask you the bullet question. You did, you did the Grim Reaper question. So that's where you have the, it's pretty much the same. But uh, you want men to be, well, like for, in some self-defense scenario, you would want a man to literally protect you to the point of he would put his life on the line in order to protect you in a self-defense scenario. But y'all won't bow? That's crazy, son. I think ultimately, Honestly, though... Crazy, son. When he put it into perspective like that, it makes complete sense. Well, he's great at putting things in those kinds of perspectives. But... But... <laughs> let's just say this. But I still don't... It gives if me my the husband ick. was like, I don't honey, like it. <laughs> I would really appreciate it if you would bow to me. My husband is Asian, by the way. W. So it wouldn't no, be wait, like what's totally... His name? What's his name? Wow. His name is Wisdom. Wait, that's his. That's his, his name. His name was. His name yeah. was Wisdom. He his, got a name. His change? name is Wisdom. Oh, is I, I heard a was. So is. Yo, W's in the chat for currently. Wisdom. Good for him. Yeah. Good for him. But if he asked me if he was like, honey, like I really want you to bow to me, like, it might hit me as like, oh my it God, might throw me off a little bit at first, but like, <laughs> I wouldn't be opposed to it because like, honestly, I put his needs above my own. There you go. So I would right. do it. Cool. I just, I mean, I think that's definitely a hot take. <laughs> Angelic, what you got? I think like love at the end of the day is selfless and unconditional. I think we can all agree here that when we're in love with someone, we would go extreme lengths for that person. Mm -hmm. So it's like right here in this table, we may be like, oh my gosh, like, oh, that's crazy. But if someone we're in love with asks us to do that, we probably would do that. And like he said, way more. Love makes you do crazy things. It does. But well, that's I want the, the praise kink to be reciprocal. So if he expects me to bow, then yeah, I want my car door open and then I have no problem bowing. But if there's not that reciprocity, mm -hmm. then like, because I think, like, the bow is, it like, historically is coming from a place of, like, you're bowing to somebody who is not your equal, who is, like, kind of above you. And in a partnership, in a relationship, Since you are to treat each other on. as equals. Hold on. Since when have women ever wanted their equal? You think women are, are going for their equal? We are created equally. Okay, equal in life value. But do you think women actually want their equal? Can you elaborate a little bit? Well, like, I'm, not saying this is the case. I'm not saying this is the case for all women, but women typically want, for example, uh, a guy who's more charismatic than them, a guy who's more interesting than them, a guy who's more entertaining than them, a guy who makes more money than them. Oh. So we're not A equal. guy who's more competent across domains. A guy who's more confident mm -hmm. than they are. Well, yes, but I wouldn't say that like he's more valuable than me. Well, it And depends I think when you bow... What, different depends. values... Like she was saying, like, you know, like in Asian culture, you bow to your grandparents and things like that. It's like, I wouldn't see my husband as that. Like, I would see him as like, we are an equal, but like, yeah, I, I don't want to live my life without him. Like, I do definitely. Um, yes. Well, there's a lot of value in his life, but I don't see it as like he's he's more than me or he deserves more than me like i think we kind of reciprocate each other and there's an ebb and flow right but so in terms in terms of obviously like your value as a human being yes men and women are equal mm -hmm. and that's why i think the bowing is is an obstruction on that okay do you want a guy to pay for a first date um the first well you've answered yes. this question before i'm almost confident yeah. i'm very confident you said yes <laughs> okay that's not very equal i would but because he he's asking me to go on the date so he's have like, you ever asked a guy out on a date no mm, interesting how that works out so not really well hold on if men de facto have to be the initiators because women refuse to initiate ever then you're <laughs> then of course men by of course, men have to be the initiators then. If women refuse to initiate or do so so infrequently that a man would be would well, never find a I woman if he didn't initiate, then yes. It's in your nature to pursue women. Oh, so we're not equal then? No, I'm saying it's in your nature to pursue women. We have things in our nature too. But wouldn't a battle, in a sense, be a mark of reciprocity in terms of how men are naturally the ones who typically fund the relationship they're typically the ones who put in more effort into getting you 
I, I think that's fair. I like, just, it, especially if he's the breadwinner, he pays the bills, he's taking care of you, he's willing to risk his life for you. A bow would, a simpl- would simply be a, a gesture of appreciation. In that's today's, reciprocal. In today's economy, what he does. that's not always the case. So I mean, it still is the it, majority of the it, time, though. We ain't saying always. Sure. But, but like I said, uh, the reason I think it's a slippery slope is because the, bow uh, the, is a the bowing, a man it can, it can lead to other slope. things. Like, what um, more is he going to want that's going to make me feel a little bit degraded? You know, like... Does it stop at the bowing? Wait, isn't the sli- isn't it's slippery a slope a fallacy? Yes, it's a fallacy. Yeah, it's, it's, a, a, it's definitely it's a, fallacy. a fallacy. Yeah, it's a fallacy. Log- logical fallacy. Okay, so listen, you can date a girl who's gonna bow for you. There, I'm sure she's gonna she'll do it if she wants to do it. I but I just hold on. I'll, I'll actually it shouldn't be you. a standard. I'll actually just engage you on the slippery slope thing. Okay, so do you think I have like these devious like I'm some Fifty Shades of Grey thing? I'm actually pretty vanilla to be honest i mean i'm i actually don't particularly like super rough sex don't i prefer gentle sex i'm just being super honest right now um don't have any like super crazy kinks i don't want to beat you up in bed y'all are actually it's the women that want to be choked and slapped around and shit which i don't want to do uh so yeah okay what Maybe know. she's like a, i'll buy for on. you but Slippery you have to slope. take a bullet for Slippery me Slippery slope who are the women who are buying Fifty Shades of Grey is like the best-selling fucking book. It's all, it's y'all who are all twisted and demented in the head. Sorry, I got loud there. <laughs> wow. It was one of the most popular books ever. Y'all are the ones with like demented and twisted sexual fantasies and fetishes. Don't get me wrong. There are guys who are out there who wanna, who are, uh, uh what's it called? Uh, no, it's uh, BDSM. Sadists. There are absolutely oh, yeah. men out there that are sadists, but a guy, a bow is very benign, and I don't think that would be indicative of him. Like he wants to like abuse you, sex. Like that's crazy. I don't think a bow is benign. How is it not benign? I just like that's I crazy, like I said bro. like it just intuitively feels demeaning to them. It really does, and I think most women would agree with that. But it's not. It feels like that. I though. know, but it's not. Fact. Oh, you it's got the not. feminist mind <laughs> virus. Don't call me a you feminist because I am not a feminist. If you weren't a feminist, you wouldn't object to the bow. No. What? Can I? That's say such one a blanket statement. This. If this, then this. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm. I'm just saying like, you can choose to have that. You can choose to be attracted to that. I'll let you work through that. I don't know what you're going through, but. You can work through that. Why Why is it that women tend to always, like when a man has a preference standard or boundary, they want to pathologize it. It's always <laughs> like you want to shame. What's that uh, sign? Shame, insult, oh, guilt. Yeah. And then what's the fucking N stand for? Sign? Anyone in the Need chat? Need to be right. Need, Need to, to be, be right. right. Yeah. Like women can desire. It's actually funny. If a man desires a submissive woman, oh, predatory. But if a woman wants a dominant man, well, that's nor. You go, girl. You get your dominant man. Why, why is it that women can desire all these things in men? No qualms. But if men desire anything in women, because they, it's always like... Because they think a man is trying to take advantage of them. And I think that's extremely bad faith. That's, that's, that's bas- basically what it boils down to. You dating a guy. A guy wants a submissive woman. A guy wants a, a woman who does X, Y, Z for him. You think he's trying to take advantage of you. And he's trying to somehow demean you. And that's not the case. I, I really I really hate that mentality in women. Why would you think a man is trying to take advantage of you? Yeah, there are guys who take advantage of women, but that's not what the average man who's dating a woman is trying to do. I don't think he's saying yes, that in a term in terms of like yes, wanting to take advantage and I didn't I didn't go there in my head. What I was more so thinking of is like like it it feels like it's leading into a little bit of a power trip like Is that not where, taking advantage? Where would it stop? Like where, like, there has to be a clear indicator of like where does this stop? Okay, so here, why don't you just tell us what's the what particularly is the slippery slope? What is the next step and the next step and the next step? Like I don't know. Do you want me to like wash your feet? Do you want me to like I don't know? That's a slippery slope. <laughs> I mean, let's here. Let's just let's even just assume. Yes, I want a girl to wash my feet. Would there really like? Can you actually make an argument for why that would be wrong? 
And she's fine with it? Like I said, if there's a girl out there, a woman out there who's fine with it, then that's fine. I'm just saying it shouldn't be a standard. <sighs> it should not be like a regular standard. Well, men are welcome to have whatever standard they want. Realize that 99.99% of the men in the United States don't want the bow. I'm probably like, there's three dudes. It's me, Q, and Nick back there. That's it, actually. We're the only men in the United States who want the bow. That's fine. You can keep it between you three. Oh, I'm keeping it between me and the entire world on this podcast. Okay. Going around the table. Very well. Going around the table. Do you want a guy to pay for the first date? If he's inviting me out. Uh, but if I ask, I do typically make the first move. So if I am asking a guy out, I don't mind paying. Well, more often than not, are you asking or is the guy asking? I have only gone on one date in my entire life, but mm -hmm. I approach the man first always. Okay. I would prefer him to pay, yes. I think whoever asks should pay, and I have asked men out on date, and I have paid, but they've also asked mm -hmm. me. And they but more, more often than not... Is it the guy who's asking, or is it you who's asking? I think it's equal. For equal? Me. Yeah, for me. Well, of the men you say yes to? Like, because certainly there's men who ask you out who you reject, right? Yeah. When, like, have, like, if, if you had a, I mean, I'm sure, you, you know, you, you're on dating apps, guys sliding into your DMs, I'm sure you've turned down hundreds of men, probably. Uh, when you're making the first move, have you ever been rejected? Like, of the times you asked a guy for the first date, have you ever been rejected? Mm. Can't think of any right now. I'm gonna, no. So I'm going to take so that as a no. no. You've yeah. never been rejected. Okay. What about you? I think they should pay. The guy should pay? Mm. They should pay. He's going to pay. I think because of my culture, I <laughs> would, like, want to pay. Like, I feel like I would want him to which, pay, but I would pay. Which culture? Because I'm Turkish, like, okay. Middle Eastern background. It's like, yeah. we always pay. Like, I will have to, like, like push my partner around, like, to pay type of mm -hmm. vibe. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yes. Men. Yeah. All right. I feel like I struggle not to pay. I don't know where that comes from, but, like, deep down, I would like to see that he's serious about me and wants. Sure. A couple other cool. questions here. Uh... Who here has ever had a one night stand? Or, hold on, has like hooked up with somebody the first time you met them? Show of hands. Q. Q. You never had a one night stand? There you go. Come on. Okay, so what's interesting to me is women will object to this bow thing, not all women. Not all women, not all women object to the bow. Not all women will do what I'm about to say they do. A girl will let a guy hit it raw, blast inside of you, come all over your face mm -hmm. during a one night stand. No. no. But you no. draw the line. No. You draw the line at me wanting a girl to bow. You didn't get the analogy right. What? <laughs> this was an extreme example, and I just you don't think girls. Hold on. You don't think that's not my experience with one night stands. <laughs> Mm -mm. Well, okay, let's <laughs> fine. You had the one night stand. You let a guy hit first night. Maybe but I was you don't, trying to hit him. Just, so with okay, what? That's, that's fine. <laughs> Whatever. I'm not making it with what? I'm not. I'm not making it into that. But it's like, okay, you've, you're willing to let a guy penetrate you, but you draw the line at a totally benign, innocent, even playful, cute, endearing bow. No, I would. No, not. I'm not saying. And I'm not saying you. But I'm saying like. Most of you probably wouldn't like really have as heavily as heavily as you object to the bow. Most of you wouldn't heavily object to any woman who was inclined to sleep with somebody the same night that they met them. You'd probably be like, well, maybe I wouldn't pers I personally might not do that, but you know, you're you're sexually liberated, you can go do that. Like I said, you can you can But why it's crazy to me. You will let a guy hit on the first night. You'll let a guy blast all over your face, <laughs> but you, oh you won't bow. That's what's crazy to me. But you're only thinking <laughs> of your experience with that. That's where it comes back to. It's selfish. And the other What's thing more selfish, me wanting to blast all over a girl's face or her bowing for me? That's, Which like, I don't like, I don't by the way. I, what's the, that's, I don't with know. that I don't necessarily. Blast on the face. 
There's better places to put it. Okay. okay. I, know. I don't agree with that necessarily, but she's obviously consenting uh, and getting something out of that. The as one well. night stand girl would not bow for you. Maybe the wife material would bow for you if it came up in conversation and you really wanted it. What? Okay. So if, if a girl watch it, I'm trying to think how to explain this. Bam. <sighs> Like I said, I would do it for my husband. I and would not do it for somebody who excuse doesn't deserve that. Excuse the vulgarity. Earmuffs for the two virgins. I did. Here. I bowed to him. Excuse the I vulgarity. I'm just trying to articulate a point. <laughs> I'm trying to articulate a point. It's like y'all let it. You'll let. You'll Stop let saying. a dude come on your face, but you you object to the bow thing. Oh my god. He's so trying loud. to find every different way to say it. <laughs> oh my god. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> Can I say something? Also, really quick, I'll let you come in in just no a second. No blasting on comparing, like, comparing the bow to like the man <laughs> kneeling for the proposal for marriage. Once in your life, yep. Go I on. would rather die on my feet than live on my knees. What? What? Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I don't think the what? bow is like... Um, I don't think it's so deep. I think it's just like a respect thing. I don't think it it's has not to that be deep. Like, I thank you. That's a perfect yeah, way to put it. I don't it. think it's that it deep. It ain't that. I could have just saved us thirty minutes. <laughs> it ain't that deep. That's my answer. <laughs> but if it ain't that deep, why is it on your requirements list for choosing a partner? Oh, it's something I want. Look, truth be told, uh, <laughs> if <laughs> hmm. if a girl was like, I, I feel sad back. about this. I don't know. It just like rubs me the wrong way. Would you be like, eh, bye? But she had it's every not other like, quality. I don't think it's a deal breaker, but like I just feel like one most women that I would pursue, they would do that shit. I don't know. I haven't encountered a girl who's like, no, I'm a feminist. But that's <laughs> literally not feminist. At I'm all. a feminist. It's super feminist, bruv. Yeah, that's I don't know. I think you'll fun. have a rude it's awakening enabling. when you see most women won't want Wait, hold on. What? No, honestly, it's enabling, enabling selfish, what? egotistical, enabling. like... It's enabling. Self-serving behavior. But isn't it self-serving and enabling behavior for a woman to demand a man pay for a first date and to open the car door and to be chivalrous and to get think, down on one knee? I don't think women to, started that. Men, men do that for themselves. Like, men love that. Men. Women love bowing. They fucking love no, to bow. They, don't. they love it. Puts Men? them into their natural no, no, feminine. No. It puts them into their Listen. femininity. Trust no, me, ladies, no. try the fucking bow. You'll this. be like, "Woo, I like the shit." God damn, I I tapped into something I didn't know was there. I've been so masculine for these 20 plus years. I've been mas no, men okay. started listen, protecting listen, and providing. Listen. Wait. The caffeine is kicking in. Okay, men started protecting and providing forever they've been doing that because they like to what it wasn't like one day a woman was like i need you to do this so oh, wait hold on women are sexual selectors mm -hmm. so if guys weren't like up to the up to par women would reject, reject them, them romantically yeah. and sexually so it's like it's no. like it takes two to tango no men did not just they haven't been oppressed right, and let, felt like they on. needed wait, to do hold on. This. men haven't been oppressed hold on we can get no. into that but hold on in hold that area wait, uh, you're da, da, da. interrupting da, da, da. me Brian. Hold on. let me just make let me make a quick point he does okay that. say your point <laughs> no make your point <laughs> it, it, men do that because they want to and women will do very selfless acts because they want to maybe bow even but when you operate from a place of this is how I want to be served, all I'm thinking about is how I can be served and my experience and how other people will benefit me. To engage in that is enabling and honestly, Enabling no, what? It's enabling, enabling selfish, what? It is like behavior. It is such a sweeter feeling if a woman just does those kinds yes, of submissive things without you asking. Oh, they do that. It shit. probably makes Trust you me. feel yeah. so good. Yeah, I but rather, like if, yes, I don't want to teach like you how woman, to be submissive, preferably. If a woman just like bowed to you, okay, like you're in a relationship and she just like bowed to you, you never brought it up in conversation, like I bet you that would that would feel so much better than you having to ask her and she's maybe just well, doing yes. it because you asked her to do it rather than her wanting to do it. Well, one, bowing is just not really commonplace in the West, but yeah, I mean, I want a girl to just get it in the same way that y'all want men to just 
get it when it comes to, you don't want to teach a man how to talk to you. You don't want to teach a man how to be confident. You don't want to, you certainly don't want to teach a man how to fuck you. You want a man to just know how to fuck you. Mm -hmm. To bring it into, sorry, uh, earmuffs for the two virgins here. Okay. (laughs) Like in in a marriage, like you naturally take on those roles that are, and it's unspoken. You just, you do it out of love and the right person brings that out of you. Like, it's not like we sit down, have a conversation. I can teach a woman though. I'll teach her how to be submissive. Sure. I'll teach her how to be submissive. (laughs) You shouldn't have to teach her. It's kind of more natural. It's enabling though. Because it's just not loving behavior. How it's is not it something isn't. that's. It's not a norm. Wait, what, what beha- so, wait, the bow or the man wanting the bow is not loving. The man requiring the What's bow. What's going on in Canada, dude? Canada is cooked. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, real. <laughs> Honestly, real. Um, I don't. I don't know how else I'm supposed to make my argument if you're just not accepting. I don't accepting. think you can. <laughs> it's just selfish behavior. And it doesn't go very far when we... What do you, let me ask you a question. What do you want men to do for you? Nothing? You have no expectations whatsoever? No, I think when a man is rooted in like the same values that I have, they will want my experience to be better. better. They will be considering my You're experience. You're Christian, right? Yeah. What denomination? Uh, like non-denom. Non-denom. Evangelical-ish. Okay. Do you think women can be clergy? Um, wh- what is clergy? That's not... It's like pr- p- pastor? Do you think a woman can be a priest or a pastor? Um, I'm just trying to understand... I'm, I'm not making an argument. I'm just trying to understand your Christian worldview. I think they could. I don't necessarily know if they should. I mean, are your Christian values really that strong if you're basically, I mean, that's basically a heresy. But keep in mind, I'm not even particular. I'm not not even religious, but my understanding of the Christian doctrine is that women are not allowed to be clergy. So you're basically, you're you're like kind of treating Christianity like a buffet. Uh, No, definitely not. Well, you said you're non-denominational. Yeah. So it's like you're- Just go off the It's a heresy. How? It's heretical. If the look, what, 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 I'm not what saying I agree. I'm not saying I agree with it or disagree with it. But okay. if for if this could be applicable to if if it was the case in Islam, for example, but if in the Christian faith it says that women are not allowed to be uh, priests or clergy, whatever it is, but you're saying yes, they can. How are you not a heretic? I said I'm sure they could, but I don't think they should. Oh, okay. Well, that, <laughs> that is exactly what I said. <laughs> okay, but so your worldview on dating is a Christian worldview. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, do you believe, for example, under a Christian worldview, that it goes something like this: Jesus, husband, wife. Yeah. Okay. And then children under, correct? I guess. Yeah. Well, that is that your view? Nick, can you pull up that umbrella thing? Yep. You've pulled it up before. That's not an order I of don't importance. That, yeah, no, no, exactly. no, no. It, it talks about, in the Bible, when it talks about marriage, a wife is to put God first and then her husband and then her children. For a husband, God first, then his wife, then his children. It's not like this... Um, this uh like uh what am i hierarchy yeah hierarchy it's not a hierarchy uh, like from an outside view of okay the husband's more important than wife the husband and wife are both to put god first and then their spouse and then the children well i'm not nick can you pull it up it's not that the husband is more important than the wife the husband is the head of a household I would need to probably let me see if andrew's available i don't know if he is it's also just I don't think very beneficial to focus on the like law necessarily. Like it really the is. The Bible is very love. clear about submission for women. Um, so if we're looking at it from that standpoint, Do you have it, Nick? yeah. So uh, Christ, husband, wife, children. That's a biblical order of the family. Do you agree with this from or disagree? From Reddit. Yeah, I agree with it. But again, that's not in terms of value. Oh. Okay. Well, I don't, I'm not sure if I'm making a value argument. I need to see a Bible verse. If, if we're having a conversation about submission. That's a picture. 
It says wives submit to your husbands. That's the biblical order. That's the biblical order. It says wives submit to your husbands. No, according, and according, oh my. To Reddit. According, according to, to Reddit. Reddit. <laughs> In, like, according, according to Reddit. To the Christian worldview. Yes, I'm Honestly. saying, if you would let me finish, Go ahead. Brian. She's the one interrupting. Go ahead. Wives submit to your husbands, yes. and husbands love your wives like Christ loved the church. Yes. Christ loved the church so perfectly and selfless selflessly Mm -hmm. and so if your husband is acting in a way that does not glorify god and is in a way that is deeply rooted in himself and his flesh then we go back to god not to him yep what did did it say tell wives to love so is their husband's ass what could you repeat what it said tell wives to love their husband's ass oh yeah as christ loved the church I thought that was how husbands no, should husbands love their wives. Love the how wife. should wives love their husbands? There's, oh, it says just says woman cool. submit to your husband. I don't think I don't husbands think there's anything there. Wife. There's nothing in what you've just said that would preclude a woman from bowing to a husband or preclude a husband from desiring a bow because from his wife. He's there's thinking about there. himself. If God is first in your life, sure. If he's not, no, I'm not bowing. Wait, you what? guys are making two different arguments. Yeah. Oh, wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> You're not on the same team. Um, it's, <laughs> it, it precludes you from that because... You're not acting in a way that Christ loved the church. Did Christ walk around being like, bow, bitches? Like, he was literally <laughs> so selfless, so humble. I'm not... I'm sort of failing to hear an argument, though. What? <laughs> what do you mean? Can we go to the there also weren't well, motor. Honestly, there yeah, also we were not wrong, motor vehicles. We should move on. In the, in the time of Jesus Christ, there were also not motor vehicles. Yeah, but should a husband not own a motor vehicle? I don't vehicle? think a like, woman what? ever said, "Open oh, the car wow. door for me." A man would have just done that, and he was being selfless, and so that's why it's it. And I don't think a woman is ever like, "You must open the car door." Again, men do that because they love it. Let's be so for real. Men don't do it because they're like, oh, here I am going to be a slave for her again. If they are, don't do it. That's awful. That's just as self-seeking. We should definitely get a call in later on from Andrew on this because he would be better able than I am to address (laughs) the Christian worldview on this. Um, Perhaps 